How's it grade 10s? Today we're going on to two-dimensional problems involving right angle triangles working from slides 53 to 57 from the trigonometry PowerPoint. So these type of problems work with real world uh, problem solving questions. Okay, so we just need to get some of these wordings down, which is angle of elevation and depression. Now angle of elevation, if this is your eye line, Okay, over here. Angle of elevation is if you look up. Okay, so you look straight ahead and then you look up. Angle of depression is if you're looking straight ahead, then you look down. That is your angle of depression. So it's always with the horizontal. Either you're looking up or you're looking down. Elevation up, depression is down. All right, so let's have a look at the first example. The first example reads... The angle of elevation, so we're looking up, at point D to the top of the lighthouse, so this is a lighthouse over here, is 75 degrees. If the distance from D to the base of the lighthouse, which is F, is 8 meters, determine the height of the lighthouse over here to two decimal places. Okay, so if I put in my... Adjacent, opposite, and hypotenuse. So straight away, this is your hypotenuse. It's opposite the 90. This is opposite, and this is adjacent. Now, we're looking for the height of the lighthouse, which is this EF length over here. So we need the O, and we want the A, because we know that. So we're looking for a trig function that has that combination OA. So silly old hens cackle and hackle till old age so we know it's going to be tan so it's going to be ef over df will be equal to tan 75 degrees okay where this is your o and this is your a i'm just going to fill in the information now so we get ef over df is eight equals tan 75 get the ef on its own by multiplying up by the 8 so ef is equal to 8 times tan 75 get your calculator and we just say 8 times tan 75 and sd now i'm going to round this off to two decimal places so it'll be 29.86 And our units are meters. So the lighthouse is 29.86 meters high. All right, going on to example two. Example two reads, from the top of the building AB, the angle of elevation to the top of the tower EC is 63. So you're standing at the top of this building over here. There's the horizontal. And you're looking at the top of that uh, tower over here, okay? So this is your angle of elevation over here. So they're talking about this being 63. They go on to say, and the angle of depression to the foot of the tower. So you're still at the top of this tower, and the angle of depression to the foot of the tower, so you're looking down, is 38. So we know that this angle here is 38. If the height of the building is 40 meters, so we know that the height of this building is 40, determine the height of the tower, this whole thing here, uh, correct to the nearest meter. So what I'm going to do first of all is if we can work this out individually. So straight away, I know that if this is 40, this one must be 40 okay because as you can see here we have a rectangle so the only thing that i really need to work out is ed if i work out ed added to this 40 i have the total height of the tower but in order to work out ed we need the length ad 
and I'm going to be working in this triangle AED. And as you can see, we have a 63. We want this. We don't have a length of another side, so I need to work out that first. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to work with this ADC triangle. And if I just draw a little rough thing of it, it doesn't have to be perfect, where this is A, D, C, we know that's 40, and we know that this is 38, and this is 90. I can find out A, D here because I have that length over there, okay? So just to fill in my uh, opposite adjacent and hypotenuse, so this is hypotenuse, this here would be adjacent, and this here would be opposite. So we want, we want the A, we know the O. So which trig function has that A-O combination? So, uh, silly old hens, cackle and hackle till old age. So it's tan. So we know that tan, I just wanna say here guys, before I do that, in triangle ADC, we know that tan, 38 degrees, will be equal to opposite over adjacent, so that's DC over AD. Now remember, we want to get that AD on its own, so I'm just going to multiply up by it. So we get AD multiplied by tan 38 is equal to DC. Now divide both sides by tan 38 to get the AD on its own, so AD is equal to DC over tan 38. Fill in my DC value, which is 40. So AD is equal to 40 over tan 38. Now we can just punch this on the calculator and get a value there. So 40 over tan 38. And I'm rounding this off to the nearest meter. So the nearest meter here would be 51. Okay, 51 meters. So now we know what the length of this is. It's 51 meters. So if I redraw that triangle, again, it doesn't have to be neat, just a little rough thing. We know that's 51. We know that this is 63. And we want to find out that side over there, which is your ED. Okay, so let's fill in our adjacent opposite hypotenuse. So that's hypotenuse adjacent opposite and we want the O and we know the A so which trick function has that combination of OA silly old hands cackle and heckle till old age so again it's tan so in triangle AED we know that tan 63 degrees will be equal to ED over AD. So that's your opposite adjacent. And we want to get the ED on its own, so I'm going to multiply up by the AD. Equals ED. Fill in my value for uh, AD, which is 51, times 10, 63, equals ED. So that means that ED is equal to, calculator, 51 times tan 63. And to the nearest meter, that would give us 100. Okay, so now we know that this is 100 meters. But we haven't answered the question because we still have to add those two values together to get the total length of that tower. So, therefore, uh, height of tower... will be equal to 100 plus the 40 and we get a total of 140 meters all right last example grade tens okay so this one reads from a helicopter 2500 meters above point a above the ground at point A. So the helicopter's over here, 
there's the ground so this is 2500 meters okay above the ground the angle of depression to the top of a 60 meter building so here's your building over here it's 60 meters and the helicopter's up here and it's looking down at the at the top of the building and that's your angle of depression and they told us that is 70 degrees okay answers correct to two decimal places so we know we've got two decimals um question a how far must the helicopter fly to be exactly above the building so what we want to do is we want to work out um this length over here this ae length so he wants to travel along there so what i'm going to do is i want to work in this triangle aed we know that 70 all i need now is a length and if i find a length then i can find ae so if this total length here is that total length is 2500 that length over there is 60 i can work out this length for this triangle over here so ed will be equal to two and a half thousand minus 60 and that gives us 2440 meters so now we know that this is 2440 meters that section over there i'm just going to draw a little rough sketch of it so you can see okay so this is a e d we know that this is 2440 meters this is 70 degrees and we want to figure out this length over here okay and that's 90. Uh, let's find our opposite adjacent hypotenuse so this is your hypotenuse this is your adjacent and this is your opposite okay so we want the a we know the o which trick function has that combination well let's see silly old hands cackle and heckle till old age so it's tan again so we know that tan of 70 degrees will be equal to ed over ae so that's your opposite your adjacent okay so we want the ae i'm just going to get it on its own so ae is equal to multiplying it up then i'm just going to divide by the tan 70 and we get ed over tan 70. so i missed the step there grade tens i'm just going to go through it again multiply it up by the ae divide by the tan 70. fill in my value for ed and we get ae is equal to ed we said was 2000 440 over tan 70. Punch that on the calculator. 2440 over tan 70. And it is two, two decimals. So that's going to be 888 and 0 0.9. 888.9 meters. All right, so the helicopter has to fly 888.9 meters to be on top of the building. Question B is saying, uh, if I can just do that on the side here, so we got all the information. Question B, if the helicopter hovers 2,500 meters directly above the building at point P, at, at point E, sorry. What is the angle of elevation from point B to the helicopter? Okay, so. What I want to do is I want to find the length EC. Okay. Uh, let's just see here, because if I can find EC from here. No, what I'm going to do, great tens, 
is we know that this is 2,500, right? Okay. We also know that that length over there is this. So if I redraw this triangle, uh, let's have a look. So I'm going to draw the triangle like this, and you'll see what I'm doing. This is B, this is E, and this is C. So we want to find out the angle of elevation from here. There it is there. And that's the angle we want to find, which is this angle here, and I'm going to call it theta. Okay. Now we've just worked out what this length is over here. AE is 888.9. That means that this length is also 888.9. We know what this length is over here. This length is 2,500. So I can find that angle theta now. So let's just put in our adjacent opposite hypotenuse. So this is your hypotenuse, opposite and adjacent. And we have the O and the A, which is going to be tan. So we know that tan theta will be equal to EC over BC. So that's O and A. Fill in my values. 2,500. And then 888.9. Okay, so you remember how you find an angle? We go shift tan 2500 and then 888.09 close my bracket and we get rounded off to two decimal places 70.44 degrees all right and that's that right grade tens what i would like you to do is exercise 15.2 numbers one two four five 9, 11, and 13, please. Thank you.